hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how to create these super easy nails they are beginner friendly and there's no acrylic no poly gel just so bomb so quick and easy so if you want to see how i created this then just keep on watching so first of course you're going to need your nails you guys these nails are from wish okay yes wish you guys they did take a month to come but they're so worth it they're so thick and sturdy and as you guys can see they're already coffin shaped so they're super easy for beginners so i will link these below for you guys so first you're going to start off by buffing the shine off your nails this will help your nails to last longer i wore these nails for nine days and i had no issues and this nail glue is from kiss and I'm just going to start off by putting like a dot or two in the middle of each nail. Um, you don't need too much because this glue is super sturdy, you guys, I'm telling you. And you just go ahead and press the nail as close to the cuticle as possible. Um, you guys, I'm still working on my angles for these videos as to where to put the camera. So just bear with me. As you guys can see how bomb these nails are. If it were up to me, I would leave them this long, but I'm going to cut them later because my 9 to 5 is mad whack. So I'm going to cut them later. But yeah, just going to go ahead and apply your glue and then apply all of your nails. And I do keep the size reference in my phone so that every time I do my nails, I don't have to pick through the sizes. I know which size belongs to each finger. So that's just a tip for anyone who's going to be doing this. And as you guys can see, I am ap applying pressures each nail after I put the nail on just to help them last. You guys, how bomb are these, okay? Yes, you guys, wish. I'm telling you, so bomb. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these down, unfortunately. And I'm just using these nail clippers that I got from Amazon. I will link those below as well. And if you want to go shorter, of course, you can go shorter. But I like my nails a little long because I do have short, stubby fingers. And since you cut them, you do want to go ahead and file the tip of the nail so it's not all sharp and ragged looking. And then I'm going to go ahead and buff the shine off of the fake nail as well because this will help the gel polish adhere better. And I'm going to take my IBD base coat and apply that to all of my nails. And guys, please don't be like me. Just do a thin layer. Um, some of the nails I did too thick of a layer and then I had to go in and like file some of it off later. So just keep that in mind when applying your powder to do nice, even, thin layers. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick my nails in my new nail lamp. You guys, I, I love this nail lamp. If you didn't see my haul video for all my nail supplies, I will link that below for you guys. And the polish I'm going to be using, you guys, I'm feeling spicy, okay? I'm doing red nails. This nail polish is by Gelish. It's in the color Tiger Blossom. You guys, these polishes are expensive, okay? But for some reason, I always do pink nails, and I want to do something more spicy for you guys. So I said, you know what? I want to do red, and you guys, obsessed with this color. So pretty. It's so perfect for summer, perfect for fall, just perfect for any season, Christmas time. Like, what? Anytime, okay? This red polish is bomb, you guys. I will try to link it below. And then I'm going to stick my nails back in my nail lamp. And now I'm just going in with my second coat of polish. And I did only do two coats of the red.
and then I'm just going to go back under the nail lamp. And these are my nails after the second coat, you guys. How freaking cute. Okay. And now I'm going to go in with my top coat. And this one's by Orly. And I'm going to apply a nice thin even layer on the top of each nail. Like the nails just come alive. Like as soon as you put that top coat on, girl. My favorite part. And as you guys can see, the nails look nice and thick and healthy looking. They do not look like there's no acrylic. Like, most of my friends thought I had acrylic, but no, girl. These are just tips, and they just, uh, so bomb. And, of course, back under the nail lamp. And these are what my nails look like after the top coat. And I'm going to take this alcohol and wipe them so that they're not sticky. Oh, look at those, you guys. You cannot tell me I don't have a full set of acrylic nails. Like, these look so good. Nice and thick and just uh, so cute. All right, you guys. I was feeling a little spicy. I'm going to go ahead and add these Swarovski crystals to my nails. I did only add one on each nail because I didn't want to do too much because I do still work a nine to five and I don't feel like hearing in my mouth every week. So I'm going to use my nail glue and just apply a dot onto each nail and then apply the crystal. I did get my Swarovski crystals from Michaels. You guys, please use a coupon because these can be pretty pricey, but Michaels always has a 40% of coupon that you can get off their website. So be sure to do that if you plan on buying these. And yeah, I just place it right in the middle using my tweezers. So easy. Um, the nail glue, I had no issues. I was telling Tyler the other day, I'm like, I cannot believe none of my stones fell off. Like, not one. Okay, so if you do plan on doing this, the nail glue works fine. Like, if you're paying somebody, then of course they shouldn't be using nail glue to apply their crystals. But this worked fine for me. I was obsessed with this look. And again, just a dot and apply the crystal right in the middle. And you guys, this is the finished look. Obsessed, okay? So if you guys have any other looks you guys want me to do while I'm practicing on my nails, please let me know down below any colors, any designs. I do have a poly gel video coming up, so stay tuned for that. And thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.